in this video let's go over the stocks that i am watching in for this week i got some pretty good setups that i'm looking at i'm looking to play this week i also want to go over the earnings calendar to keep you guys prepared for this week make sure to subscribe with the notifications on and if you guys not uh, already sign up for the free email newsletter at sundaystocktalk.com now the first thing that i am watching for this week is the uh, earnings this week so we have earnings season coming up where pretty much all of the companies uh, report earnings for the quarter now on tuesday we had Netflix, we have uh, 3M, uh, GE, RTX, Texas Instruments, uh, Procter & Gamble. On Wednesday, we have AT&T, Tesla, IBM. So really big companies reporting. Now, last week and the week before, uh, we had banks reporting earnings. So this week, as well as next week, we're going to have massive tech companies reporting earnings. So we have Tesla starting off and Netflix starting off. Then we also got Intel and Visa on Thursday. We have Capital One uh, reporting on Thursday. So this is going to be uh, some volatility um, for the market, especially when we have Apple, Google, Microsoft reporting uh, pretty sure around next week or the week after that. So just be aware of these catalysts. This week uh, is nothing crazy for the earnings uh, except for Tesla and Netflix. So let's take a look at SPY. Okay. We talked about SPY. We were in this consolidation phase where we were trading between $468 and $478. But we closed above and we actually broke the trend. So we were trading sideways for almost a month. From December 14th to January 18th, we were trading sideways. So we broke out and now the trend is to the upside for the SPY. We can see that whenever we break the consolidation phase to the upside, we have massive room to the upside. We have also broken the all time highs for the SPY. Okay, we have broken the all time highs. So pretty much we are in a bull trend. Okay, we are in a bull trend. We are in a bull market. And again, if we take a look at his history, the market pretty much mostly just goes up. Okay, we had a very nice pullback, and now we are in. Uh, we are officially in a bull market since we closed above, and we are breaking all-time highs. So the spy is looking absolutely incredible for a continuation to the upside. However. I'm taking a look at the chart and I'm taking a look at the 478 level. If we do come back down, I want to buy and calls at the level of support. So this was a previous level of resistance, but now this is the level of support. So if we do drop for some reason, I want to buy and calls and this is going to be the area for calls. As for price target, we don't have any other resistance. So pretty much it's just going, you know, up from up from now um you know we don't have much price targets we can base it off of uh, numerical values um but like 490 might be a good level but pretty much we're just gonna you know breaking out and there's no roof for spy now the first play that i am taking a look at i'm taking a look at for a small account challenge play I'm loving Rivian here. Okay, Rivian is looking incredible on the daily time frame. Now I'm thinking about I'm thinking about playing shares for uh, Rivian right here. So we have this $15 level, which was a previous level of resistance. It was a previous roof, but then we broke. We had a massive run to the upside. We came back down and held this level, which is now we are holding and now we are back at this level. And now we have this solid double bottom for Rivian on the daily time frame. On top of that, we have the RSI, which is an indicator that tells us if a stock is overbought or oversold. So the RSI is at oversold levels. Okay, This is a solid buy for Rivian. Now, I'm personally thinking shares. Thinking about shares, or I'm thinking about uh, two to three weeks out options. Uh, you know, the thing with options again is I don't like uh, the fact that we have to time the market with shares. We could just play. We can buy right here, then we can have that stop loss to close below, because the stop loss is going to be below fifteen dollars and thirty eight cents. If we break below 
new support for Rivian, that is going to be our stop loss on the daily and weekly time frame. So this is a critical level um, that I'm watching. Now, this is a number one play that I'm watching um, for this week. Okay, I want to buy low and, and sell high for Rivian. So this is the first play that I am taking a look at. The next play that I'm taking a look at is Amazon calls right at market open. So we're taking a look at Amazon with a nice inverse head and shoulder. We had a previous ascending triangle play. It broke out. But now we have this inverse head and shoulder. So I actually want to play Amazon calls right around market open. Weekly calls. We have earnings coming up next week on uh, February 1st for Amazon. So we have earnings coming up either next week or the next uh, the next week before uh, after. But I'm taking a look at this nice inverse head and shoulder breakout for Amazon. We are bullish uh, above $155. We have been really trading sideways for Amazon since December 18th. So for a month, we have been trading sideways. Uh, the SPY broke out. You know, a bunch of other tech stocks broke out. So I'm taking a look at this very nice, incredible play for weekly calls on Amazon. Price target to be 156 We have this nice wick to the upside. As well as um, you know some of our next uh, price targets for Amazon, which is at around one hundred and sixty-two dollars. So I'm liking this play for weekly calls. Next, we have AI, uh, another shares play that I am taking a look at. Looks very similar to the Rivian play. Very solid um, buying right here, $23 again shares. Now, the thing again with these plays with Rivian and AI is, you know, these shares are very nice gains, you know, 26, 28% gains profitability. You know, we're talking about 30% gains on shares is huge because okay, options are options are deadly okay options are straight up deadly if you don't know what you're doing with data you gotta time the market so especially 40 small account challenge i'm thinking about playing shares for ai and uh rivian so i'm thinking about playing shares have that stop loss and that way there's going to be absolutely zero stress and the risk to reward is going to be absolutely amazing for the small account challenge so let me know what you guys uh think in the discord um for that you know probably try out a different strategy so we're taking a look at ai we have this very nice level of support um, the RSI is looking decent. We are at that oversold level. We want to buy low. We want to sell high. Uh, I want to take a look at the volume. The volume is decent, nothing crazy. But I just love this basic chart for AI. Okay, for AI, I love this basic chart, $23. I also love this consolidation. The past four candles, this consolidation is looking absolutely nice. We have, uh, we are respecting this level. So we are definitely not catching a falling knife since we have bounced off and we are holding this level. Unless if we break this to the downside, but this is going to be our stop loss to close below $23. So I really love the risk to reward. Price target being $32 for shares on AI. So next we have PayPal. Now PayPal, we made a video on it. I think it has been like four months now. So you guys can search uh, PayPal Fire Cycle 114. I'm in PayPal shares. Okay, we're up over 20% on PayPal. We bought in, you know, three months ago. We pretty much bought the bottom for PayPal stock, but I bought in just shares. And I'm holding, this is this was a long-term play, okay? I'm holding one year at least because of the capital gains tax. So if I, if I buy a stock and I sell it in a year, you know, the tax is going to be like 10% compared to something like 20% depending upon your bracket. So if you do a long-term capital gains tax, absolutely incredible. And I got a pretty big position on PayPal. Uh, you know, as you guys know, on the Discord, PayPal and Bitcoin are two of my biggest positions, Um in the overall market now take a look at the volume we have some very nice volume uh, accumulation phase a lot of trading activity um, at this lows this is the point to buy in buy low sell high make sure to watch the paypal video okay i made a whole video on it and i liked it how i compared it to stocks like meta and shopify 
and how stocks were beaten uh, beaten down and you know even a small move like this we can make a nice hundred percent and definitely a year from now i think this is going to be sitting at 126 dollars at least for paypal we had some news uh, over the weekend i believe on paypal ceo announcing something special so that is going to be interesting but i'm a long-term investor on paypal okay one year plus for paypal stock i love the volume here you know, we closed above on the weekly and the monthly time frame. So we are looking incredible for PayPal stock with a nice falling wedge breakout. So next we have Bitcoin. Now, I got to keep saying this. I'm very, very bullish on Bitcoin. It is one of my biggest positions. And honestly, I kind of hope we break the support to the downside so that I can buy more. I'm very bullish on Bitcoin. I'm thinking about releasing like... Uh, some videos on bitcoin but look i've read like six books you know i really really know i understand the technology the history and you know i'm just very bullish on bitcoin i'm holding it for two three five years ten years long term okay i'm a long-term investor um in bitcoin but we're taking a look at this channel on a daily time frame you know we have the support and we have this resistance we keep bouncing off this level of support um, you know, buying in right here for for the short term uh, is a great idea. And then have that stop loss close below. But I'm loving Bitcoin here. We're trading sideways. You know, as you guys know, when we are trading sideways, we are setting up for a move. Bitcoin looks absolutely incredible, and I'll keep you guys updated on the Discord. So next we have BLNK. So we got BLNK stock right around three dollars and twenty cents. We got in around three dollars and twenty cents, and we were up over thirty-four percent. Now, I actually wanted to get out of BLNK right at this level of resistance, as I mentioned in the video. But I wasn't able to get out because I was kind of busy. I was taking a look at other stocks, and I wasn't really paying attention. But I'm taking a look at BLNK. We're doubling bottom. We have a double bottom here for BLNK. Our price target is four dollars and fifty cents. We have the volume. I made a whole video on this. Now this is again a very interesting stock, um, because the how I found the stock was uh, you have a, a big hedge fund, uh, Ken Griffin. Okay, one of the biggest hedge fund billionaire. Um, he actually got into this stock, and that is how I kind of got the idea. But I love the chart. Um, I love the risk to reward. It, I'm only taking a look at shares. I only got shares, so I'm thinking about you know potentially you know longer longer term play. But I love the risk to reward. I made a whole video on this. You guys can search up you know billion dollar hedge fund buys this stock. But BLNK is looking good. My stop loss is the close below right here. Is a close below two dollars and twenty cents on the daily time frame because if we break this, then we're pretty much a falling knife. So we are bullish as long as if we hold this level for BLNK. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have not already signed up for the Sunday Stock Talk newsletter, join the Discord, follow me on Instagram, and see you guys tomorrow at Market Open in the Discord. Take care.